welcome to my opinion here on my opinion tv don't forget to like share subscribe click the notification bell so as soon as a video is released you'll be one of the first to be notified this morning we want to bring into focus an incident where three persons were shot in an over however just want to give god thanks for waking up this morning so many people went to bed last night with the dreams and aspiration of getting up this morning and are not numbered among the living. So whatever your circumstances, whatever your situation might be, as long as you're alive, you have much to give God thanks for. And you can also contact us on our WhatsApp group at 876-892-2079. That's 876-892-2079. That's our WhatsApp group. That's where we put exclusive pictures, videos, and anything that can't be shown here on WhatsApp, on our YouTube channel, that's where we put it. Now, according to the Gleaner, a child was among three persons shot in Cascade, Hanover, about 8.30 p.m. on Wednesday night. An adult victim is reported to have succumbed to the injuries. The victims were at their gate when a car reportedly drove up. A group of men got out and started firing, injuring the child and two others. The injured victims were rushed to the Noel Holmes Hospital in, in Lucy, where one person was pronounced dead and the other admitted in serious condition. The police are investigating. Now, we all know what's taking place in the western side of Jamaica. So many things have been happening in that neck of the woods recently crime and violence has spiraled to a very high and disturbing rate in the western parishes of jamaica all of this started through the lottery scamming and these scammers they make crazy money and instead of uplifting themselves these scammers go around and kill and destroy now based on what we know we hope the child will survive one person has lost their lives so far and as I've always said these criminals they fear nobody it doesn't matter who is in sight once they come to kill they fire indiscriminately now people can't even have the right to stand at their gate anymore Yesterday, a man was sitting in his bar. He was killed. A police operated his own bar in, I think that was West Milan, and he was killed. That, that even that situation looks so spooky, based on what we we read, where his friend called him to have a drink. The bar was not open. His friend called him to have a drink, and all of a sudden, he was killed. I think the police should look into that theory. But back to what the topic today. Three persons standing at a gate. A car drove up. Next thing you know, one person is dead. A child nursing gunshot wounds. And it's so unfortunate that even if this person was marked for death, I, I guarantee you not all persons were, were, were the target. But when these criminals come, they don't business who, was, who is their original intention. As a matter of fact, sometimes even if they go and they don't see their original intention, um, intended target, they still open fire because they are trying to send a message. And all these criminals are doing is driving fear into residents. And this lot of scamming, this scamming job that they have taken onto themselves is nothing but death and destruction. And if your family is involved in scamming, Try to avoid being around them. Because at some point, all it takes is for a deal to go bad or for one man to feel like another one is taking his customer and then you are dead. Not only you are dead, your family members are killed. Because if they can't catch you, they try to catch the weakest link in your family. This is an ongoing in type of behavior for quite a while now. The scamming has created a lot of youngsters buying car Mark X and it is spilling over also on our roads. The indiscipline is also on our streets. It's just so sad to know 
that they are gain, gaining money through illegal means, which we don't condone here. However, it, you could understand if they were taking the money and making good sense, good use of it, developing their life, developing their family. But instead, the minute they get caught into scamming, some of them don't have the gall to be the, scam, to be the scammer's gunman. They just be scammers, but they hire gunmen to defend them. And the minute they feel like Tom Jones is taking away his customer, it's death and destruction on Tom Jones' family. Then Tom Jones' family will start to retaliate. Then all of a sudden it becomes into a big gang feud. We hope that this child will pull through. We don't know the circumstances. We don't know and we don't have an update as it relates to um how serious the injuries are. But we hope mighty God will shine his light down on this little child and this child will recover. The next bit of news we look at is Sir P, a popular vlogger, has been dragged into this situation. And let me put it out there. I have the utmost respect for this man. I have the utmost respect for this man, Sir P. Right? So, despite whatever people might say, and whatever people might do, I do have respect for this man. As a matter of fact, even though I am the person on My Opinion TV, I listen politics watch almost every day i do listen it you understand because anything that has substance and anything is for the upliftment of jamaica <coughs> excuse me i'm a part of it now according to the observer there is a video footage going around of shabdan's lawyer telling sir p to cease and desist now, I'm going to read it from the Observer. I won't have much to say about it because I know nothing about Shabdan. All I've learned about Shabdan is since I've been listening to Politics Watch. Donovan Collings, the attorney at law representing popular dancehall producer Linval Thompson Jr., also known as Shabdan, has issued a warning to bloggers to cease and desist from spreading what he dubs as false and damaging information about his client. Shabdan was the subject of a police investigation recently where he faced gun charges and has been in police custody since October 2021. He was, however, freed of all charges when he appeared in the Home Circuit Court in Kingston this month. In a video posted to Shabdan's record official Instagram page, Colin said his clan is a well-established businessman who is involved in no criminal activities. He added that the statements made by the popular vlogger, in particular, have hurt the reputation of the dancehall producer. Linval Thompson Jr. is a partner of Shabdan Records, which is a well-established recording company. Now, Mr. Thompson Jr. has been the victim of several defamatory videos which have been posted by popular vlogger Sir P. of Politics Watch. Sir P of Politics Watch has sent out several videos and in those videos, he clearly stated that Linval Thompson Jr. is involved in several crimes, murder, shootings, and also a part of gang activities, Collins said. <coughs> Collins categorically denied the allegation, noting that he is prepared to unmask Sir P if he does not desist from defaming his client. We intend to take the necessary legal steps to ensure that Mr. Thompson's junior reputation is protected. Now I know that Sir P is hiding behind a wall, but I would like Sir P to know there are steps that can be taken to legally tear down that wall so the public can know who you are. He continued, these defamatory videos have caused Mr. Linval Thompson to suffer severe reputational harm. It's also caused to suffer damages, and we are asking well, well, demanding that Sir P of Politics Watch cease and desist from publishing any further defamatory videos about Mr. Linval Thompson Jr. Shabdan was freed on firearm-related charges when he appeared in the Home Circuit Division of the Gun Court in April. Now, we all know Romario Scott, 
was sentenced to six years and one month for illegal possession of firearm and four years and one month for illegal possession of ammunition. Both sentences will run concurrently. He was the one who took the charges for the firearm that was found in the car that he and Shabdan was in. Now listen, from my point of view, I, I know nothing about Shabdan. I only knew about him in the music fraternity. Sir P brought certain things to our eyes, right? Then after, we saw his running with the law, right? He was freed. So I really don't have nothing much to say, but all I can say about this, I have Sir P as a very credible man. What this lawyer has said, it seems as if from my eyesight, his whole intention is to unmask Sir P. For me, I care zero. I wouldn't. I I care zero about you trying to unmask him. The the matter is, if this man has done you harm, if this man has done you harm, take legal redress. Find legal ways to get your client name cleared or for Sir P to remove the videos. I haven't seen anything in his statement that's saying. Based on what Sir P has said, he's given him 24 hours, 48 hours or whatever to remove the videos. He has not said that. And that alone speaks volume for me. However, it, is, it should not be the intention of the lawyer to unmask Sir P. It, is, it should be the intention of the lawyer to have damages against Sir P brought before the court. Not trying to unmask the man because clearly if you're trying to unmask the man you're trying to clearly put him in the public's domain and this man has credible information about a lot of incidents but at the end of the day it is what it is and you're defending your client i'm gonna play the video of the lawyer making his statement but as soon as the video is finished that's the end of my opinion for this day don't forget to like share subscribe i'm asking you my subscribers keep subscribing and if you're watching just hit the subscription button it takes nothing out of you to hit the subscription button just hit the subscription button as we try to uplift this channel and get more subscribers so that we can be a force to reckon with as it relates to giving you credible and quality opinion on my opinion tv well until next time, stay safe. Look out for a neighbor. Look out for a loved one. Look out for a family member. Look out for the children. And most of all, keep it locked. In my opinion, TV. Of Shabdan Records, which is a well-established recording company. Now, Mr. Thompson Jr. has been the victim of several defamatory videos which have been posted by popular vlogger Sir P of Politrix Watch. Now, Sir P of Politrix Watch has sent out several videos. And in these videos, he has clearly stated that Linval Thompson Jr. is involved in several crimes murders, shooting, and also that he is a part of gang activities. Now, all these are false. Mr. Linval Thompson Jr. is a well-known, well-established businessman, and he is not involved in any criminal activity. Now, these defamatory videos have caused Mr. Thompson Jr. to suffer severe reputational harm. It has also caused him to suffer damages. And we are asking, well, we are demanding that Sir P of Politics Watch cease and desist from publishing any further defamatory videos about Mr. Linval Thompson Jr. It is very important that Sir P stop this immediately as we intend to take all the necessary legal steps to ensure that Mr. Thompson Jr.'s reputation is protected. Now I know that Sir P has been hiding behind a wall but I would like 
to let Mr. Serpy know that there are steps that can be taken legally to tear down that wall so that the public can know who you are. So, this is a warning, Serpy. Cease and desist from spreading defamatory contents about Mr. Linval Thompson Jr.